I love to wear a wristwatch. If it is an analog watch, then it would be very good. But is it possible to make such a clock for my desk? Yeah, definitely can be tried. At first I thought everything would be fine, but no, it's not as easy as I thought. I wrote a new code and after another and lot of time consuming process. Sometimes my clock start rotating like crazy, sometimes it did not work at all. If you talk about the electronics part, then you need an Arduino Nano, an A4988 stepper motor driver, and few line of promising code. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. JLCPCB always think of customer convenience, for which JLCPCB has came up with SMT Assemble service. If you use SMT Assemble when you order your PCB, you can save your time and also get all the part you are using in your project 100% genuine and with perfect soldering. I think SMT service is a great option for your PCB. There is also more benefits such as 3D printing, variety of color of PCB, maximum 6 layer PCB and many more. So don't waste any more time, today upload your PCB and enjoy. Yeah, this is quite look like analog clock, but uh, the millisecond will be little tolerance, but you can make in this way a very great wall clock, I mean uh, table clock. So for looking a great clock, I start a painful time consuming 3D design and here, this is our whole 3D design. So now time to make every component in 3D physical model and guys, if you have not any 3D printer then definitely you can use my trick in this way. I am just joking, this is not possible. So finally you can see my all 3D printed part are printed. Now time to assemble everything according to my plan. Here I am using 28 byz 48 unipolar stepper motto. Wait wait wait. You might be thinking how can I run this unipolar motto with this A4988 stepper motor driver, right? So don't worry about it, this is pretty easy, just you have to expose this blue color cap and here you can see this middle line trace, just you have to cut it. And now your motor will be bipolar, it is quite easy, right? I am pretty sure even you might be thinking why I am using this motor. The only one reason is this motor ratio is a very great resolution compared to NEMA 17. Ok, now I can mount my motor on this acrylic glass. In the same way, I mount minute motor, even second motor. Now for this motor, you should have the correct electronics component. For the good placement, definitely we should have a great PCB, right? So here is the PCB that I ordered from GLC PCB. Pretty nice, right? Okay, let's see what can be done with this PCB. So I gather all necessary component for this clock. Even in this PCB, I designed a few exciting features such as an alarm even a few switch feature for set the right time. So here is the final output, looking not bad, right? Ok, let's mount this PCB on earlier acrylic board. Next I made a 3D printed acrylic stand. I mount this stand on this acrylic glass, even definitely for holding long screw, you need another one. Now time to connect the second step amount of wire with this driver board, even minute and last one is hour. After that for holding gear, I am using a 6 inch long screw. So I insert this screw in this stand hole and guys one thing is you can download every 3D printed part FTL file from this video's description box. And here you can see I already mounted second minute and hour gear according to my plan. So finally in my clock I add an hour hand and next I add a black colored minute hand and last this is the second hand. So this is the final look of my clock for the first programming. Now time to connect the USB cable and after that here you can see this is the all code that I have written. So now time to upload it and here you can see that all the clock hands are rotating but all the hands are now crazy because there was no any calibration like a clock. So now time to calibrate every hand. And here in my code just we have to modify this three line. 
6 millisecond delay is great for second and uh, 60 millisecond delay is definitely for a minute and 600 millisecond an hour that's it and here you go my clock is now working very well okay let's check this out is my clock showing me the correct time or not so that is why i am using my own wristwatch and here you can see exactly the same maybe my clock has a little bit tolerance but but i would not understand if i don't use it for a while and another question is maybe you might be thinking about how to set the time right okay this is pretty easy just you have to pull up the gear and put it in your requirement time i hope you can understand everything okay guys this is today's short video if you don't like this video then you can definitely dislike it and if you like it then you can subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one